What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. If y'all know who I am, that means you're new. I'm Mark. What's good with y'all? Go check out my other videos. Check them out. Check them out. Excuse me, but first, all right, let's go and get into this one. This one's actually really important. And here's the thing. Let's be real here. If you're into the political side of the Second Amendment, which if you're really into the Second Amendment, you kind of have to be, this video is definitely going to be for you. Now, here's the thing. I plan to make this video actually almost a week ago i've been behind on schedule i've had a lot of busy things going on however this video is important for me to talk about regardless so a, a little bit over a week ago i i heard that there was supposed to be an announcement made as of last friday which there was by our genius we'll say for not lack of better words but Lack of words that are truthful and won't put me on a list, probably. So, uh, our genius president's idea was to open a new office to quote-unquote combat gun violence. Whatever that means. All right, now here's the problem with that. I would understand it to the extent if we legitimately had, uh, I don't know, actual mass shootings every day, things like that. I would understand, you know, if they're trying to say, okay, yeah, that's where it's getting out of control. We need to maybe crack down on, you know, some of these people who are showing, you know, like, I don't know. I could maybe understand, you know, the argument from a government of, yeah, I want to make this office because of that. Not from a, a citizen perspective more so, but I guess I could argue it from, you know, a government perspective. Uh, here's my problem with it, right? We there's actually have a lot of fucking problems with it. So we already have uh, a bunch of departments actually that handle gun violence. Uh, they're called police departments. They're called sheriff's offices. The FBI even handles certain cases. The ATF. What does the ATF handle? What is the F in ATF? Firearms. It's, the F is not for dog killer. All right. <laughs> But, and, and yes, guys, that was, that was a joke. In case some of y'all be like, dog killer doesn't start with an F. He's fucking stupid. <laughs> that was obviously the joke. Uh, but <clears throat> my whole point, right, is that there are already a bunch of, you know, law enforcement organizations that already are dealing with gun violence and trying to help combat it where there is actual gun violence, AKA the inner city where all the gangs and all the poverty is, where all that is happening. That's where a majority of the gun violence in our country is just like how it is with any other country. It's not like we're special because of that guys. It's not like we're special because, Oh yeah, it's, it's violent in our poverty stricken areas. That's not how, you know, we're not special for that. That's everywhere in the fucking world. All right. So let's get that part out of the way. So I'm sure there's going to be that little, you know, anti 2 a keyboard warrior when we get mass shootings on the team here. No, our quote unquote mass shootings are where three or more people get killed and they include gang violence in all of those. They don't separate them from actual mass shootings. Um, but regardless, I'm getting a little off topic here. Back to this new office for gun violence prevention, right? Uh, we already have a bunch of organizations in law enforcement that handle gun violence. We have a ton of them. They do their jobs. I won't say very well, decently well. You know, some, some departments do better jobs than other departments. We can agree on that. But, that, you know, I guess that's based off a of work ethic type of thing. I don't know. Who knows, right? You know, I'm not in these departments. So, <laughs> but my whole point, right? And this is where it really pisses me off. If it's already, you know, to a point that we need a whole new office for this that is also going to be funded by our tax dollars to, quote unquote, stop a problem that all the other law enforcement agencies that are currently dealing with it couldn't stop. What is to make us believe that this office to combat gun violence is going to actually do that? I, I'm waiting to hear it because I, I'll be honest, I know a majority of government workers are incompetent. I know for a fact they don't do their job properly. So you're expecting me to believe that just because it's an office under a new name or, you know, it's a brand new office for whatever that it's automatically going to be. Do no, I don't believe that at all. So I think it's just going to be our taxpayer dollars, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, our taxpayer dollars just wasted.
And I think it's honestly going to be a big problem for us because when in all reality, and here's the thing, I'm not a big fan of taxes. All right, one of the one of the key like fundamental ideas that you know caused us to want to get away from you know Great Britain or whatever the fuck it's I don't even remember what the hell it's called at this point. Britain, all right. I don't even remember what the fuck they call themselves at this point, whether it's Great Britain, Britain, I don't even fucking know. When we when we goddamn kicked their asses and they took the biggest loss of 1776, all right? <laughs> One of the biggest reasons why was because we didn't want to be fucking taxed as much. No taxation without representation. It's one of the only phrases from school that stuck into my head because I was like, you know what? I don't want people taking my damn money either, all right? So the money that's being taken from me that I'm already not happy about, I'm sure some of y'all can agree with me on that, is now going to have to go to an office that I completely don't care about, don't want to be built, don't think is going to be effective, don't see a reason to have. There's a lot of problems here that I'm seeing with this, right? Now, here's where it gets, you know, to another level of problems, right? When... When we're talking about, you know, quote unquote, combating gun violence, right? We're giving this office a power of, okay, we need to know who has these firearms, things like that. And I'll be honest, I only see this leading to some form of national registry. I only see that this is what they're trying to lead on to, which they've openly said they want multiple times. It's not a matter of, oh, yeah, well, they... You know, they, they might be hinting at it. No, they have said that they want a national registry, which would mean that they would have every single, they have every single fire. I'm sorry, that dog, I'm, I'm gone. In a whole nother room laying down. She finds a way to ruin a video. I hope y'all could hear her. But uh, my whole point, right, is... Shit, I lost my train of thought for a second. <laughs> uh, but it's just real irritating for me. Oh, I'm going to fix this angle. It's real irritating for me because I don't think this agency is going to really do anything. It's, it seems more likely it's going to lead to a national gun registry, which has only led to confiscations. They're going to need, you know I mean? And for most people who don't know what a national gun registry is, it essentially would mean that they would have 100% record of who owns each firearm, where they live, all of these things, even if you got your firearm in a private sale. And I think that's absolutely ridiculous. Now, and I'll even be the person to say, one of my guns I've gotten in private sales. I've gotten I've gotten guns as gifts before. You know what I mean? So it's not like that's a you know that that's that's stupid. If I you know let's say later in life I have a child, right? You know, and I'm like. Hey, son, your 18th birthday is here. I want to go ahead and gift you this. Now I have to go have him do a background check. It's it's my kid. If I've having to pick him up from jail before, he probably hasn't been arrested. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, it's not really something you can hide from the parents is their child getting arrested. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh, God. So I don't see this office doing anything positive. Now, another thing to think about, right? Who is running the office? I actually didn't find this out until after the announcement was made. Now, I'm sure some of y'all are wondering, oh, well, how did you hear that this was going to be announced before it was announced? I'll be honest. I was bored at work and read some some shit online that, you know, it said, oh, yeah, well, Friday, President Biden is supposed to announce this. And I was like, okay, well, you know, if he's supposed to announce it Friday, let's see if he's going to do it Friday. Wrote down the video idea, you know, was planning on doing it that day, actually, because it was like the, it was, yeah, it was last Thursday. I was planning on doing it that day, got super busy, and then my entire week has been, uh, excuse me, has been hell. So, you know, look, I'm getting it done for y'all, though. I I do it for you guys. I don't do it for me. I do it for you. So let's get back on to it. Who is running this office? None other than the, look, the least, the the least annoying person ever, right? You know, the person who definitely does not talk to a bunch of people like they're a bunch of remedial four-year-olds. Oh, did you ride on a school bus? I used to ride on a school bus. Of course, I'm talking about Kamala Harris. 
the same woman who has put countless people in jail over weed. The same woman. Who, nah, you better get your ass out of here, girl. That dog, she's a problem. Unfortunately, she's my problem. But uh, long story short, though, Kamala Harris, the same woman who has put thousands of people, thousands, like, oh, my God, the number. I'll be honest. I couldn't even remember the number. It was a legitimately large number. It made me be like, wow, this cannot be real. And it is, you know, what 100% is, but it's just such a shocking number. Uh, thousands of people just s prison time for weed, weed, marijuana, you know, the shit that is, I don't know, legal in a lot of states now. Actually, hold on, no. If I'm not mistaken, this was in California too, where weed is now recreationally legal. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so, the woman who has put thousands of people away for simple weed charges is now going to be in charge of the office to prevent gun violence. Let that sink in. Like, give it a second. Don't, like, that's the thing. A lot of people are like, oh, yeah, what does it have to do with it? It has a lot to do with it. It shows she has a problem with power. It shows she abuses her authority a lot. It shows she doesn't give a fuck about anybody else other than her damn self and filling out whatever quota she wants to have filled out. You know what I mean? So that's the problem here is that <clears throat> what may be actual gun violence might not get labeled as actual gun violence. What isn't actual gun violence might get labeled as actual gun violence. That is the problem with this is we are worried about people like we're worried about people who are saying, you know, for example, take California worried about, oh, yeah, well, we're going to add taxes onto this. When in all reality, they just opened a whole new office to, quote unquote, combat, uh, excuse me, combat gun violence. <laughs> we'll say combat. <laughs> uh to combat gun violence. <clears throat> and what violence are they referring to? They're not talking about gangs. I know they're not. Why? Because they don't care. If they cared about gang violence, they wouldn't be releasing gangbangers after they just go ahead and shoot up a house. <coughs> they wouldn't. <coughs> they wouldn't drop the charges on these people. They wouldn't sit there and give them easy sentences. They wouldn't give them bail. They wouldn't do any of these things, but they do. So it's clearly not, you know, the gang violence that they care about. What's left? The, the rare legitimate mass shootings, the rare ones where it's, you know, maybe a lone person or, you know, a group of people who, you know, their entire objective is to kill as many people as they can. You know, that that's what you're trying to combat. That's such a small amount of what actually happens. And if I'm not mistaken, there was a statistic that was released recently that shows 40% of mass shooters are stopped by armed citizens. So that's 40% of you know that gun violence that you're worried about right there handled by armed civilians. Uh, and I can I actually couldn't remember the amount that was you know stopped by police. I had to it, let's be realistic here. There's not you know, mass shootings that have lasted for such a long fucking time. You know what I mean? Like the rest were handled by police, obviously. So like common sense here is saying that that's not realistically the problem here. We can't go out of our way to say, oh yeah, well, we're going to stop someone before they commit a crime. That's not legal. They haven't committed a crime. You can't do anything to them. If you have proof that they are trying to commit a crime, hey, you may have another argument here. You may have another argument here, but... You're going to stop people before they can commit the crime? They haven't done it. If they haven't committed the crime, then you're just breaking the law, violating the rights. And that's the thing. I, let's make this clear. I'm not advocating for any mass shooters or anything like that, obviously. I can't believe I have to even say that. However, I just think this entire office is stupid. It doesn't make sense to me as we already have the, we already have law enforcement departments that handle gun violence. We already have law enforcement departments that are scouring the internet, 
looking for, you know, signs, things like that, that they're doing their job. All this is, is going to be a waste of taxpayer dollars. All this is going to be is a new reason for them to say, hey, let's push for more gun control. All this is going to be is just another power trip from Kamala Harris. That's all it's going to lead to. I don't see anything else coming to. I don't see any positives coming from this. I don't think any of you guys can see any positives coming from this either. That's the thing here. And I mean, look, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. I'll be the person to say I'm wrong. I'm a grown man. I'm willing to admit when I'm wrong. But I, I have a good feeling here, and I have a good feeling I'm not wrong. <laughs> I don't need to make that much of an argument here. Uh, but look, go ahead and comment your thoughts down below, of course. You know what I mean? Let me know what you're thinking. Uh, I think this fucking, I think this new quote-unquote office to combat gun violence is bullshit. I don't believe that's what it was actually made for. I don't believe that's what they're really doing. I don't support this new office. I think it's an absolute waste of time, money, and honestly, a waste of the respect that, that us as Americans should have for our rights. With that being said, y'all go ahead and make sure to like, comment, subscribe, share, hit that bell. When you hit that bell, hit all. And because you agree with me, you agree with everybody, you know, who's really pro 2A and that this new office is just a bunch of bullshit. Go ahead and make sure to check out the podcast channel, Adam's channel, Centerfire Podcast, Gunnut TV. Y'all know what the deal is. Y'all make sure to stay legal, stay safe, stay dangerous. Have a good one, y'all. Peace.